you match them, okay? You're going to match them. Now, maybe you haven't heard of these before. That's okay. We have actually touched on them yesterday. Then I want you to write out a sentence for each of those. So I'll do the first one for you. All right? So I'll take the first uh, one. That, that boy, uh, till now following that uh, culture. Uh, yes, uh, in India, people. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of a mix between the two language skills that we studied this morning and yesterday. Okay? So yesterday, we were looking at language for um, signaling advantages. And today, this morning, it was all about defining terms. So you're going to blend both of these. Okay, you're going to blend both of these. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to work in your groups. All right? Group, group, group. Local products lose revenue. Los local products or another disadvantage is Okay, I'll, I'll put this word up competition. Okay, uh, um, R in there. Um, yeah. Peculiar. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Okay, peculiar, strange, unique, interesting. Australia is a peculiar example. Mm. Good, go on, please. Because it's maybe they're third generation or fourth generation Australians, or maybe they're um, uh, Indigenous Australian, First Nation people. Maybe they come from a very progressive family. Maybe they come from a very traditional family, more conservative. So politics plays a part. Uh, your, your backgrounds, your national background, your culture plays a part. Gosh, there's just so many different. Um, identities in Australia. Yes, and I think here. Okay, I'm interested to hear everyone's ideas. Um, let's just start with the Australian identity. Um, I'm not going to write anything on the board. Um, I'm just going to keep this open as a class, okay? Um, and same online students, just speaking, sharing your answers. Australian identity. What does it mean to be Australian? Now, most of you might have some stereotypical or generalized views. That's okay when we're talking about this, okay? So, please share. Come on. Some, some people go to the beach. Are they still going to, they go to the beach? That's really hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you have a beach culture? Yeah. Evidence. We have the largest area of national parks in the world. Maybe we have to check that fact, but we can, we can check it. Even if it's like top five, that's still good. Good. Uh, Intellectual? Yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. What about you, Himal? <coughs> what does it mean to be Indian? Uh, in India, people uh, usually uh, have a routine of uh, visiting a temple uh, once a uh, once in a day, uh, as they uh, as they are, they are more uh, spiritual people here. They usually believe that a uh, worshiping a god would uh, make their day uh, day matter. And also, people have habit of the national identity is um, worship. Okay, worship, um, respect. And there seems to be an element of hospitality as well. Okay, greeting people and being kind to people as you meet them. All right, all right, interesting. Okay, thanks everyone for sharing. Um, and I'll share the one that I have on the whiteboard here. Okay, so you can have a look there. Make sure you take a screenshot or something. Um, because, yeah, you're going to have to use them for your discussion. Okay, this is like a practice discussion. We have our real discussion on uh, Friday. Okay, so it'll be related to this. Okay, great. So I'll turn my um, speaker off in the class and I'll turn our microphones off so we won't um, cross the sound over. And I'll give you about 10 minutes to do this. All right, maybe even 12 minutes, at least two minutes each to just share your ideas, get them out on the paper. 
this little brainstorm a little bit. Okay? And then we'll share um, after we're all done. So between 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. And we've had some of our, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you Hi. want to keep yeah. talking. That's great. It's really good. And you, I can see you've got lots of really good notes there. So that's great. Um, so let's just share them all together. Okay. We'll just go through. Um, and again, we're just doing it in note form there. Um, some of our online students have put some of their notes up on our whiteboard. So I'll just bring that back up here. All right, so we've got the whiteboard there, um, and they've started listing some advantages, disadvantages, and we'll add to those post-nationalism. Post-nationalism. Manisha, your group, can you add to this? Self-organised. Self-organised. Chen, who's, um, whose note was that? Okay, you can, you can be one um, that's But for me, though, oh, okay. some people, you know, independent.